What is up, everybody? Numer here, back to YouTube. I do apologize for missing a couple weeks. I was grinding out midterms for college. However, we're going to hop straight into this gameplay. I know you guys are excited to see some tournament from Prodigy. Now, we're going to see here we are going against All For One's team. This is the first round, and we have a Wu Chang on Arms Factory. With our team comp, we have Perfumer, Forward, Seer, and Gravekeeper. So you're going to see that OT is not going to run Tide, as most Perfumers do. Now, something to pay attention to is that the Hunter is staying at Triple Pala currently, noticing all the Cyphers being worked on because Wu Chang is best with Cypher pressure. Now you're going to see me playing Seer in the background. I'm counter-rotating. I knew where he spawned. I went behind Shaq. Now I'm watching the Hunter. I said, I think he's going factory. This is when OT's already rotating so he doesn't get teleported on. Ends up taking this speed boost just to loop factory. You know, the usual, who doesn't do it with factory? Now at this point, OT's like, yes, he's going to commit on me for a bit. So you're going to see me push Shaq to water tank. Counter rotating means you just go to where the Hunter is without him seeing you. Now at this point, Hunter is running teleport, which we did not know. We didn't know if it was going to be a Wu Chang with blink, but he does teleport and end up going to the Gravekeeper, which is actually clutch in our situation because Perfumer does decode faster than Gravekeeper. And he already had a pallet drop down. He's going to end up dropping another one and shoveling right away, which is amazing on Miasma's part. Now, at this point, best case scenario for the Hunter is probably to teleport to another character because he's going to waste too much time. So as you see here, he ends up baiting Miasma, which is a very, very good play on him. However, he doesn't want to waste as much time on Gravekeeper. So Miasma is communicating. He's going to teleport Water Tank. And at this point, I am already prepared for the kite. I'm just waiting on him. And I see that he does teleport outside. Now, keep this in mind, I am going to abuse white form. I know that the hitbox is broken. However, I know it takes time to hit me. So you see me, I end up wasting that boost. But I remember, you know, I have an owl. You know, this just needs to be like a 60 plus second kite. I'm okay. So I end up using my owl here. He ends up actually missing. I don't know how that missed, but I don't know. His hitbox is a little wonky. However, I'm just trying to kite away from all ciphers. I know someone's at factory, aka OT. I end up pallet wasting that, he ends up breaking it, and I'm going to end up rotating to the same area I just came from. Just trying to like stay in a concise area. I don't want to push triple pallet yet because that's a main place where people kite. He ends up long swinging, which did not hit me right there. So at this point, I'm stuck in a situation where I'm probably going to have to take a hit. I'll take this both speed boost, boom, I'm outy, and where do I push? I'm going to push straight into triple pallet, but I do notice that he does have presence now. So going there is probably not my best case scenario. The Hunter is doing a very, very good job with making the Seer waste all of my... The Seer, I mean me, waste all of my pallets. However, it was a 60 second kite. <laughs> we noticed that dungeon is in the middle. And at this point, we just need a quick rescue. We have two ciphers left already. And then from here, I can just kite because I'm pretty sure I'm about to get a bird soon. And I want you guys to notice that I did stay in the same area. I know that I have triple pallets to work with once i get rescued or even if i have to go back to water tank you know i'll do what i gotta do however i will make this kite as long as, as possible as i can if that makes sense you're gonna see here that miasma is going to get an amazing rescue miasma is one of the best if not the best rescuers on this server he ends up hitting this i you know don't even ask me about the Wu Chang's hitbox. I can't even explain it to you if I wanted to however at this point i'm telling Miasma, get away from me i got a speed boost i'll be able to kite I'm going to, I already got my bird, as you can see, except for Miasma ends up getting double hit here, which is bad on his part. However, it does happen. It is good on the hunter's part. He's slowing down Cypher Rush and he's make, forcing someone to go for the rescue. Now, keep this in mind. We have two Cyphers left. We got one at 60%. I don't know what the other one's at. Okay, they're both at 80. So it's looking like a win situation so far. If we notice that OT still has his three perfumes, Cat still has his full football. However, you're going to see that the Hunter unfortunately did not get that hit on the forward. However, it was an amazing teleport on the last Cypher. Ends up teleporting back to the chair. Ends up getting that nice hit. We're going to see that he does still have Bell. So is that I'm going to farm Gravekeeper? A lot does happen in this situation. However, we all are calm. We know that we have one Cypher left. We know that cats can harass if needed. But at this point, he is getting chased. I told him I wasted both of the pallets at water tank. So you're going to see him use as much football as he needs to. Now notice, it is an amazing part. And you have to be very, very disciplined when you play Wu Chang. And you're going to see that he does teleport to the last Cypher. It's around 80%, maybe 90 So at this point, 
OT is going to have to just kite. Ends up baiting OT's perfume, which is very good on the hunter's part. Now you see me being a little sneaky over there, trying to get back to the cypher in time. However, OT did perfume back, which is, you know, kind of sucky because I'm trying to work on the cypher. But it happens, you know, it happens. So at this point, I'm getting chased. I end up getting that pallet boost or pallet vault in time, which is very good on uh, my end. So you're going to see me waste that. I know OT's good. Now, keep in mind, Miasma did get double hit, so he had to get healed up. And they're going to work on a different Cypher. While me and OT try to work on the current Cypher near us, at least. End game, especially against a Dream Witch. I know that Wu Chang and Dream Witch aren't the same. However, you always want to have a Cypher you're putting pressure on and another Cypher you're working on. And the other Cypher is around 70. The one actually I started off with at Water Tank. So at this point, you see OT could have went to us. However, he stayed where the last cypher was, or at least the bait cypher. Now at this point, the cypher's prime, so I'm not trying to waste any pallets because I know I have to kite end game. So you can see me bait that there. I know that he does have a broken hitbox, ends up hitting me right there. I tell them to pop. And keep this in mind, I'm trying to bait him as long as I can to stay with me so we can get the three man. Because I know I still have a bird. I'm at half, half a one right now, so I'll be able to kite. So you see me use it right there. And the hunter's not gonna waste any time. He's like, I'm out. So he ends up teleporting to where two people are. You're gonna see he is not playing any games. He teleports straight onto Miasma. However, it is already tough for Miasma. He's in reverse. I'm not sure how that did not connect. However, it didn't. And Miasma's just trying to kite as long as he can. You're gonna see he's gonna try to vault. Ends up actually missing, which is so unfortunate. But now Miasma's trying to prolong the kite as long as he can so that we can get the three man. We know that he did use te both teleports. So we know we're guaranteed to get the three man. So you're going to see me opening up the other gate. And from here, we will be taking the win in the first round. Now, I do feel like I've been talking for a while. So I just want to tell you guys, I hope you've all been doing good lately. Hopefully, if you want to like and comment on this, I would appreciate it. But we're going to hop right into one of the finals matches, which is against Legacy, um, Aliens Dream Witch on Hospital. It is, I believe, the second round. So you're gonna see we do have Priestess, Mechanic, Gravekeeper, and Barmaid. Now Katz is actually running Barmaid because Ford was the first one banned. Now we're gonna see he did spawn inside hospital, like I just said. He's gonna head straight for Shaq. Now at this point, it's just up to Katz to kite. Now you did see me spawn at two pallet and I headed straight for hospital because that'll help my teammates out the most. Because Priest is a very, very good support character, not only kiting, but supporting other teammates. Now, I know that in the stream, people actually couldn't see this match because the stream was a bit laggy. So, if you guys are from the stream, comment down. I watch the stream. Comment whatever you choose to. Now, at this point, Cats has ended up getting sandwiched. But the main body cannot find Cats currently. So, we're just trying to rush as many ciphers as we can. We know that Cats is taking ruins, all the ruins. That's all him. Like, we're not going to stop him. Now, we're going to see, like I said, Priest is in hospital. We have Mechanic fully decoding now. So, he ends up taking a leech hit, which is very, very good on Cats' part. Now, I'm telling him, I'm communicating. Cats, double doors is there. Double doors is there. We see that he hasn't used Patroller yet. So, most likely, either has Blink or Teleport. He ends up blinking right there, trying to catch up as much as he can. However, Cats ended up making the portal in time. Ends up taking that speed boost as well. And just completely flies across the map. He's full health. And the drink actually came in really, really clutch. Now, we're going to see that Miasma does see the main body moving over outside of Birdcage. Going over to Statue, aka 2 Pallet. Now at this point, Katz is in the clear. Like I think he is straight for the rest of the match. We don't think the Hunter's going to find him. However, now I'm over here. I have what I like to call elevator setup. And the Hunter was right there. Like he was not playing no games. I see that he does drop down the hole. So at this point, this is just a Priestess Kite in my opinion. Like I just got to do what I got to do. End up dropping that. I'm communicating with cats. I'm like, does he have blink? He already blinked on you. Okay, I'm good. Now we're going to see that alien does not waste any time with priestess in hospital. Like most dream witches or at least hunters shouldn't because that's kind of like a free kite in my opinion. And this is like the top priestess telling you this. Now we're going to see he does head straight over to cats. Cats is very, very disciplined on not vaulting that nor that pallet. But he's ended up going to take that drink right here. He ends up pushing hospital, like I told you, the most broken area for priestess or supporting characters as a whole. Now I tell him I don't have any portals set up. 
he ends up taking that speed boost. Now keep this in mind, I'm running Tide and so is Miasma. However, an amazing thing on the Dream Witch's part was blinking right there so he could not use his drink to the full capacity that it should be. Now at this point, we already have two ciphers remaining. This is the second round in the finals against Legacy vs Prodigy. And we're gonna see here that Miasma is gonna go straight in for the rescue. One thing that Gravekeeper should do is shovel right away so that the hunter does not see you. It also gives the hunter an impression that, okay, someone's already going for the rescue, I better be prepared to get it. Now, one thing you guys might have missed was before Miasma went for the rescue, I globaled him as Priestess so I can end up taking over his cipher because it is one of the last two ciphers remaining. Now you're gonna see here, Miasma does have to get this rescue. He has to get it before half, and he also cannot get Terror Shocked. Ends up getting amazing rescue right there. And now it's just back to cats kiting again. Most likely he's gonna get farmed because he's already getting sandwiched as we speak. You see here that he does get hit. Now keep this in mind, both of the ciphers are almost primed, or the last one is almost primed, and the main body's already leaving him. So at this point, I think best case scenario was to just pop it right there. So what did I do? I hacked it clumsy, you know, I didn't care what was going on. I just popped it right there. And at this point, we're communicating, yo, I think main body's coming to you, Miasma. He ends up shoveling right away because he does not want to take a hit. So now at this point, OT is taking the kite. However, the Dream Witch did blink into the pallet, thinking OT was going to drop it right away. But I mean, come on, it's a mechanic and detention, so it's not like he's going to last really long. He ends up being really, really patient at that pallet. It ends up working out in his favor, but he doesn't have a speed boost from the pallet. So at this point, Hunter's going to down him right away with the leech, and main bot is going to come get him. Now, I want you guys to keep this in mind that the mechanic bot did open shag gate, so we all pushed it straight away. And at this point, it is a GG. I hope you guys all enjoyed some tournament gameplay from Prodigy, and comment below what you want to see next. Have a blessed day. I'm out.